Hey everybody, welcome back to 3 and 3. The topic this week is Windows Autopilot. And with me I've got Tyler Plazitz, who's a senior consultant on the Digital Workplace team. So let's jump right in. Tyler, what is Windows Autopilot? So Windows Autopilot is a service within Microsoft 365 that allows administrators to quickly and easily deploy PCs to their users um, with really minimal overhead and hands-on time. So it allows their users to get up and running with a new PC if they're a new user or a replacement PC if they're an existing user um, very quickly. So it's, it's both great for IT and for the end users because it's a modern way to deploy new devices and get them up and running quickly. Yep. Great, so question number two then would be now that we know about it, what it is, what is interesting about it and why should customers be looking at it? So what's really great about Windows Autopilot is with an increasingly um, growing mobile workforce, it allows users to receive a PC uh, without having to spend a lot of hands-on time and have configuration with the admins and admins can deploy the PC to the user directly from the hardware vendor. So you don't even have to get it shipped to a corporate office first. You can send it straight from your hardware vendor directly to the user. And as soon as they sign in, they enter their corporate credentials and anything that's relevant to them, their applications, um, that all comes straight down to their PC so that they can get to work right away. Yeah, and as I understand it, if they're, if they're getting a replacement device, the things that they were working on, the applications they were using before come along for the ride, right? Right away, so they can get yeah. it run quickly. Yeah, so if you were working on something in the past and it's a replacement PC for you, um, all of that documents and uh, applications that you had before come right back. Excellent. All right, so question number three then is, what can or what should our customers start doing with Autopilot today? Yeah, so it's really easy to get started with a pilot. Um, so what you can do is you can start enrolling some existing devices that you have into the service and deploy them out to a few testing users just to get the feel for it. And then in the meantime, you can also start working with your hardware vendor to see what it takes for them to integrate with Autopilot for your organization. And then as you start to order new PCs for new users, um, that can be integrated into Autopilot right away as well. Excellent. So obviously this is a huge time saver, a huge money saver. So they should get started with a pilot also reach out to their hardware vendors to see how they can incorporate Autopilot into their delivery uh, mechanism and get started from there. And then certainly, uh, if you want more information, we do Autopilot deployments uh, for our customers and had a lot of expertise um, like Tyler uh, in this area. So don't hesitate to reach out to us at valormreply.com for more information. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, this has been great and we'll see you next time. Thank you.